As we're back to channel today, we're gonna to be talking about the fastest ways to level weapons and your your level in Vanguard. Um, these are just a couple things that I figured out playing that now that I'm max uh, rank prestige one and uh, now that I'm grinding camos and stuff, things that I've noticed that help level weapons faster and your XP faster. So to start out, it's gonna be very obvious. Just play, like just playing the game, you know, just playing with your friends, having fun and stuff. That you're gonna level regardless. But if you want to hone it in and actually <clears throat> progress faster than most people for level xp i recommend just going into the pacings tab which is a new thing in vanguard where you get to pick your battle pacing which is i think tactical assault blitz and regular i think and those are just different variations of the same game modes but with different amounts of people so blitz game mode will have the maximum amount of people per map normally ranging between like 10 to 12 sometimes 14, 16, it gets gets pretty hectic on some of the smaller maps, but obviously more bodies, more kills, more XP, yada, yada. That's how, that's one of them that I can offer is just put on blitz mode, get it in there, all that stuff. Now, while you're doing, while you're playing blitz mode, you want to actually check your operators out. Operators in this game work differently from like Cold War and Van in a Modern Warfare. You, each operator has to be unlocked by getting them done by certain things like one guy has 300 kills to get him unlocked with ar uh, assault rifles one of them is get 300 kills with a sniper rifle one of them's get like 50 prone kills 50 uh, hip fire stuff like that so like you want to you want to make sure you're knocking those out while you're playing so you can get all these characters unlocked for this for this reason right here is that each operator has their favorite weapon so each operator when you hover over them in the operator select screen you can see their favorite weapon and then if you press two you can see like the list of unlocks and stuff so if you're using that operator with their preferred weapon you get extra xp on top of your level and and uh extra xp on top of your weapon so like one of them his favorite weapons that uh stg you use him, you get more level XP, and then you also level up the STG faster while playing as that operator and using it. So that's a good way to like kind of min max how much you <clears throat> how much you uh, push your levels faster. And um, <clears throat> also, as you level up that character, just say the STG guy, I forget his name, but uh, every increment, I think every three level ups, you get x amount of xp i think it's like first one's a thousand xp for the stg the next one's 15 so as you play that character you get free xp for that weapon while using it and then also as you level up the the operator he has little alkylades that'll give you more xp as you play so that's always good so you want to keep track of that and make sure it, it and obviously it doesn't cover all the weapons in vanguard but if you're going to use a weapon at, like that make sure you unlock the operator that correlates with it if they do have an operator that correlates with that weapon because it i got the stg leveled in one day it, it was i mean while just playing you know it, it's easy but uh <laughs> that that's that's another way to do it also another way is also if you're camo grinding which is i don't know if this is in modern warfare i don't remember but in if you're camo grinding you get xp for unlocking camos as well so you get i think it's like 1000 all the way up to 5000 xp depending on the t like how far you go up you know so <clears throat> as you're leveling as you're playing grinding camos have the operator have their favorite weapon and the camos make sure every time you unlock camos you know that you're going to be <clears throat> you know that you're going to be um, leveling up even more because that's more XP on top. So camos in this game now give you XP that just make sure if you're, you know uh, what you need to work on and all that stuff. Cause now some of the camos require you to actually use um, certain attachments on guns now instead of like mounted kills and stuff like that. So just make sure you're paying attention to all that stuff. Once you get those uh, guns up to those higher levels. Um, next one. <laughs> Use surplus on your weapon. Yes, this is a very minute uh, amount of XP, but it is XP. I think every gun in the game has the surplus perk on it that gives you plus one XP. I think, I think it's like five percent XP boost or some stuff like that per kill on the gun. So that'll help you level guns faster and your character faster. Just make sure you're running that on your guns at all times. It's very small, but it's just a little bit more on top to keep you going. You know champion hill so in champion hill 
there is a it, it's a game mode where it picks I think it's eight teams and you fight against each other in one v one like or two v twos or three v threes till the last team standing with that all the lives or whatever. Well, guns level so much faster in Champion Hill. It's <laughs> I I got the uh, I think it was the automaton and I, it went up nine to ten levels in one game and I only got like five, ten kills twelve kills with it. It levels up so much and. 10 to 20 minutes of gameplay you know like it's not a super long game mode so like it's a good way to level up the guns that are in that rotation of that game mode but the thing is is that there's only a select amount of guns in the rotation for for uh champion hill and i think they said they're going to rotate it every week it's going to have a different set of weapons every week so just keep your eye out on what's in champion hill and i mean this this all to say if you like champion hill you don't have to okay so but it is a fast way to level up weapons if you do like that game mode. So that just keep that in mind. It is always a different thing if you get tired of the tedious blitz modes and all this other stuff. You can go to Champion Hill and level the guns in there if you haven't leveled those guns already. Um, this one's another another obvious one, but it's so crucial because people forget to, on top of everything that you have to do, putting on new attachments, putting on putting on new gear and stuff while you're leveling early you need to make sure that you're always popping your xp tokens especially double weapon xp and weapon xp i mean a uh, regular leveling xp because if you don't you're wasting valuable time on top of all the xp you could be getting so make sure every time you're back in the lobby you have one of those popped i think the highest one right now is an hour and you get them you get them incrementally through the battle pass if you've been leveling up the battle pass so just make sure that you always have them popped if you have one and you're and you're going to play the whole duration don't sit in the lobby because you sit in the lobby it runs the timer down so make sure when you pop it you're going to be playing a bunch of games in a row so you don't waste the time on it but um yeah those are those are crucial having those popped when you get out of when you get out in the in the post game lobby in the pre game lobby and you're checking make sure you have one going on while you're leveling and here's another one not everybody can have this not everybody can do this but make sure if you do have friends or you play with a group of guys make sure y'all make a clan or join a clan because clans give you a 10 percent blanket xp boost across the board if you're playing with clan members so if you if you're if you've been playing with your buddies or you and you you and just your one friend have been playing y'all can you or him can make a clan if y'all if y'all if y'all are ever playing together y'all hit y'all get a 10 percent blanket xp boost across the board so clans are a very viable way to do that too. So make sure that because they got rid of the double XP or the the XP hour thing like they did in Modern Warfare. They've actually fleshed out the clan system in this game, which is pretty cool. But um, make sure if you do your plan with your buddies in the same clan and y'all get a blanket XP boost across the board. But those are the few ways I found early on that helped me level real quick because I'm already max prestige on the second day. So or not max prestige max level first prestige but though they're crucial and i think i think if if i were to pick one that was the most important it would have to be the weapons tokens because the weapons tokens help me level up the stg so fast because it's the first gun i've gotten gold so you, it helps you level so fast and then camo grind and other guns help you level and it's just once you pile everything on top you're going to be leveling very very quick so uh just make sure that you're, you're you're checking all these things, making sure you have your tokens pop, making sure you have surplus on your gun. You're using the your operator's favorite weapon if they have one, or if if not, just use whatever operator you like. Whatever, it don't matter. There's no, they have no game like game changing effects. So, but that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully this helps you grind a little faster, get those XP uh, boosts going, and get you to max prestige and get all your guns leveled up because god it takes so long in this game but uh that'll be it and uh i guess i'll see y'all in the next one all right peace